Oh yeah, and I'm back with a traditional speed paint. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you comment, like, sub, or what you do when you watch my YouTube videos. So anyway, so this week's speed paint, well, last week I was supposed to upload this Saturday, but you know, um, that didn't happen. So, um, so this speed paint is special because I am doing the Disney Drawing Channels of 2016 on Instagram that was started by the Crazy Comic Lady and Pip Pan Fang. Sorry I butchered your name, but that's okay. But anyway, so to kick off the challenge, um, I'm doing a picture every other day, so every two days, just because it'll give me a lot of time to complete a picture. The f maybe first day to do a sketch, and the second day to do a full blown drawing. There may be some days that I'll just do it all on one day, but I think it'll be best to do it like one um, picture every few days, just because of my t life and schedule. So, the first theme of the challenge was to draw your favorite parent, which is a pretty sweet first theme to do on a challenge like this. Um, because you know a lot, there's not many parents in cartoons, so it's really awesome that they thought of this as the first theme. So, uh, it was between Adam Mufasa from The Lion King, well the first Lion King because he's dead in the second one, or Mulan, um, and I picked uh, Mulan's dad, uh, Fazu. So I picked Fazu um, just because um, I really like his character. Um, he's one of my favorite parents, Disney. So I figured I'll draw him. Um, I love his character, like I said, and he's some old disabled guy, and I'm like, oh, and he loves Milan no matter what, and it's freaking amazing, so it's cute, and stuff, and he's a great father figure, so, um, that's why I picked him, um, so, as you can see, I am using mainly Copics. For the inky stuff, I've used Sakura Micron um, pens, um, the color ones, to give it a softer look. Um, I also use um, a Copic fine liner, um, a sepia for the trees. And um, for the leaves, I did not really line art with line art. Instead, I use a Crayola pink, which you'll see. Um, I'm using a Crayola color pencil just because... Um, I feel like that will give me some nice color to the leaves, whereas a liner will be too bold, and I thought, well, I'll use a color pencil. I will use a Prismacolor, but just because, um, they're, they're nice and all, but, like, I want to use, I want to be a little different. So I use Crayola. Um, yeah. Overall, I really enjoyed working on the piece and also working on Fazu. Um, all, all the stuff that came out in this particular piece, I think my favorite would have to be him. Um, the least favorite would have to be the grass. <laughs> Why the grass? Because um, the colors I picked, they were like, you know, basic greens. But I wanted more like a pale green, and, and I don't... And I, I don't have pale green markers, and also it's really hard to find some pale greens. I wish Copic someday would get put add new greens, make it really pale, like un unsaturated greens, like really unsaturated greens. Um, they do have unsaturated greens, but they're more like a liver color, and I'm like, I don't think that will look nice. So I want like really pale green, like really pale, like almost no color. Pale, pale, pale greens. Um, I think with paint you could probably achieve that color, but I'm not. I don't like painting, so fuck it. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, now I go over the color pants with the leaves. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the thing was my process with the sakura um, flowers. I wanted to use. I want to use a pink fine liner, but the fine liner I had is missing, so it was a really light pink, but it's missing. Um, and I think it was the um, Strattler Trippus fine liner. Pink is a much lighter pink, and I wanted to use that, but I was sad I didn't use it. So I was like, well, I'll just use color pencil, and I think it would be much softer than that. Anyway, um, I tried my best coloring them because they, they're interesting, like really pale pink. And um, I didn't want to screw up the picture 
um, too much because I, you know, colored over some pencil work. Um, you can see some really, really, really grayish areas. That's where the pencil was um, for some of the flowers. But overall, I just kept it blank and I kind of did my own thing with them and I think it came out real nice. Um, I tried coloring the same way I do in my Renamon picture, but again, um, <laughs> you know, I can't achieve everything the same, you know, so it was like, eh, it was a little disappointed with that, but that's okay. Um, again, I really enjoyed it, and also, if you guys ever want to do the challenge, go ahead, there was a link in the description of, like, the, the links and stuff to the challenge, so you guys could, like, totally, totally, totally do it yourself if you want. And yeah, um, this is the end of the video. I'm finished talking. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! I think some people have it in their heads that if you want to be an artist, you have to be a jack of all trades. You need to know how to draw everything. Not really. <laughs>